Hey guys, so I'm gonna, this is the start of making a mini uh, foundry for melting down some pistons that I've got here. Here's the pistons. Um, they're just big enough to fit directly in here. So, um, this is a empty fat boy that I have here, propane canister. Uh, there are two valves in here. I've got it empty, but I just want to make sure that it's completely empty, so I'm going to remove these valves to ensure that I've got all of the gas out of the canister. Yeah, there's still some in there. Okay, one of them's completely out. This one here I don't think will come out completely because there, I don't know if you can see, but there's some rubber keepers in there. So, it's kind of keeping that one in. Alright, so now we're ready to cut the top of this off here. And this will be my uh, crucible. Okay, now we're all set up here to cut. I do have a plasma cutter. But I'm not terribly crazy about cutting into a propane canister with a flame torch, even if I do have all the gas out of it. So, I'm doing this the old fashioned way. So there you go. Oh, the smell of gas. So, all nice and cut. I'm going to take a file and uh, clean up those edges a little bit so I don't cut myself. Okay, I've got a half round file here. Just gonna clean up these edges. I'll just do a quick test fit for these pistons. Looks like we're in luck. Should be able to melt down, I don't know, maybe four in here, possibly. Once I get it melted down, I'm gonna pour them into this baking tin I picked up at a 99 cent store for a couple bucks. So, let's get this set up. Okay, now I've got uh, four of them here that I've already pulled the rings out of. But these things are pretty dirty, as you can see, um, inside and out. So I'm going to hit them with a uh, wire brush so that I can reduce the amount of slag that's in the finished product. I've also got these four that need the uh, rings pulled out. So I'll do that now. There. See, that's a lot cleaner, so I should wind up with less slag in the finished aluminum that I have to fish out. Alright, this isn't terribly interesting, so I'm just going to do up the rest of them and then I'll turn the camera back on. Alrighty guys, i got it set up here. I have that crucible in the forge. This is a simple uh, kitchen cooking pot forge that I put together. I have the torch ready to light. I have a blower set up over here. It's basically made from an old dryer. So 
I'll drop a couple of these pistons in. Let's see how long those things take to melt. I'll go ahead and fire up the forge here.
got some aluminum muffins. They're going to be really hot for a little bit. Just, uh, just got to harden up, take them out of the tin. So that'll be it for right now. We'll come back and take a look at it here after they cool down. All right, so here we go. This is the last bit. These are the last batch, the one that uh, I videoed before. Some nice aluminum ingots. Um, we just fired this batch here, so they're still too hot to dump out. But the last batch fell out pretty good. Just let it cool down enough, and then they just flip the thing over and they just dump right out. So This is how much we ended up with from five pistons and these are the last three so yeah I dumped the uh, slag from the last batch into this one just to melt out any more aluminum so there we go